a couple weeks ago, I was scrolling on social media. I, I, I fell upon this video of a woman, a guy by the name of Sophia Ruffin, and she's sharing this word. And the word involves Revelation 3.20. Now, I am familiar with Revelation 3.20. And the reason why I'm personally familiar with it, because I can remember doing a journey entry and I was praying and fasting. We was doing a corporate fast at my church and the Lord had gave me a similar word to hers, but not exactly in the way that she put it. And so I received it in faith <laughs> and I'm one of them. I don't watch any and everything. I don't listen to any and everybody. But that woman of God, it spoke to me. What she was saying spoke to me. And so whenever I receive a word through faith, I go in prayer. So I'm in prayer, and I start praying Revelation 3.20. I want to read Revelation 3.20 if you're not familiar with it. It says, Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. And if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. And so... I began to pray that scripture. And one thing that I realized when it comes to that scripture, the Lord is saying, if you open the door. And so as I'm praying before me in a vision, I see I'm talking about rows and rows of open doors. It was a lot of them. But in, in the vision, I began to turn around. And when I turn around, I began to come face to face with a shut door. Now, in the beginning, my back was turned to the shut door as I looked forward in front of these rows of open doors. But, now, but then I turn around in the spirit and I'm seeing this shut door. And so I'm praying and the Lord brings it back to my memory about this journal entry from January the 1st of 2024 during that corporate fast that we was having with my church. And this is why it's so important. I always encourage people, listen, keep you a journal to journal and to keep a record, you know, of your relationship with you and the Lord, things that the Lord has given you, because sometimes we forget. And so I, I, I finished praying and that's how the vision ended. The vision ended with me facing this shut door, turning my back on these rows of open doors and facing a, a shut door. I grabbed my, my journal, flipped to the first page and I had first started my entry in January, read it. Once I read it, I see the scripture revelation three, eight. And so I'm like, okay, let me go to Revelation 3, 8, because I, I was tracking with the spirit, like, Holy Spirit, you're trying to tell me something. So I go to Revelation 3, 8. Revelation 3, 8 says, I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. And that part of the scripture stood out to me. It resonated with my spirit in that moment. Because, okay, Revelation 3.20 reveals that I must open a door. But then when I read Revelation 3.8, and the only reason I'm reading it is because it's in my journal. Revelation 3.8, it says the Lord opens a door. And so I'm like, okay, God. <laughs> Clearly, you you trying to tell your girl something, warn your girl of something, reveal something to me. And so I started consulting the Lord about this vision, about why he wanted me to go back to these journal entries, these particular scriptures and revelation. And in that moment, as I'm asking God and I'm, I'm seeking God and sitting in silence, in solitude, the Lord revealed to me what that vision meant and why he desired for me to go to Revelation 3 a. One thing God gave me was, yes, he is the God that opened doors that no man can shut. But he is the same God. He is also the same God that shut doors that no man can open. And in this vision, I turn my back from these open doors, these rows and rows of open doors to face a shut door. And in that moment, the Lord revealed to me, even for myself, this is my own personal conviction. And I'm sure it's, this is for somebody else. That's why I said, let me record this. Let me share this with my family on YouTube, especially. But the Lord revealed to me, yes, 2024, because one revelation the Lord gave me, uh, one prophetic word that the Lord gave me at the beginning of, of the year during the corporate fast, that 2024 is going to be the year of knowing, the year of open doors, and the year of exposure. And when I talk about knowing, the Lord gave it to me, knowing him, his son, and his Holy Spirit on a deeper level that the previous generation had never known him. That's number one. Uh, the year of open doors, God is opening up doors for us to walk into and spiritual gifts to walk into. He is opening these doors and these opportunities for us to walk into. 
And then number three, the year of exposure. Yeah, we hear exposure and, and we've been seeing a lot of stuff that the media, what, what's been going on in the media, especially with celebrities being exposed, preachers, leaders being exposed. This exposure is also for us as an individual because with knowing God on a deeper level, his son and his Holy Spirit on a deeper level, there will be things and there have been things that the Lord will begin to expose to you about you. So this is also the year of exposure for you that God is going to reveal things to you that you ain't never seen before. Things that he is trying to purify and uproot evil ways, evil mindsets, uh, strongholds. This is the year of exposure where he is pulling back the curtain of our hearts and he is revealing things our deeds and our mindsets even for ourselves not just celebrities but even for ourselves this is a year of exposure and so i'm seeking the lord i'm like lord why what it is you want me to understand pertaining to this to this vision and god made me realize that yes he is a god that opened doors that no man can shut but he is also the god that have closed doors that no man can reopen and a lot of us are turning back to doors that he has shut and locked and sealed. And we're trying to make ourselves fit back into those same doors that he has shut. A lot of us are finding ourselves delayed and stuck and complacent because we are turned around. We have turned our back from open doors, the open doors that the Lord has set before us because we are too focused on the former things. We are too focused on these doors that he has shut. I had shared this with, with, with the women in a group chat that I'm a part of. There are some relationships that God has shut the door on. There are some friendships, opportunities, jobs, uh, even churches. There are some churches that the Lord has shut the door on. There are rooms that the Lord has pulled you out of and shut the door on. And you are trying to return to those closed doors. You are trying to return to those, to those rooms that I no longer want you in. This is what the Lord was revealing to me. You're trying to go back and I'm trying to pull you forward. You're trying to dwell and remember the former things. Behold the new things. Can't you see the new things? Can you perceive the new things and the new ways that I'm making for you? And a lot of us are trying to turn back to closed doors, doors that God has shut and you cannot reopen it. God made me realize that had I not, I'm telling you, he pulls you out of certain situations. And I was, I was talking to a friend of mine, even about a, a, a church that the Lord had that room. He took me away from that room. He shut that door. It would be crazy for me to try to re-enter into something that God has brought me out of. Don't let that be you this season. Yes, God is going to place before you open doors. And yes, God desires for you to open up your heart to his spirit and to his presence. But you cannot do that if you are focusing on former doors. God does shut some doors that he do not want you to reopen. And matter of fact, you ain't going to be able to reopen. And with your effort and with your attempt to reopen these doors, you're going to find yourself stuck right there facing closed doors. You're going to be facing some closed doors because you want to focus on what's behind you and not what's in front of you. I wanted to share this with somebody because I believe prophetically, yes, this is a year of open doors, exposure, and knowing. But for some of us, this is also the year of closed doors because we don't want to face what God has put before us. It is uncomfortable to be outside of a room that you're no longer in. It is uncomfortable. However, you must be in one with the spirit, with the Holy Spirit to track him and to know, Lord, what do you want me position and posture? What do you want my mind and my eyes to be fixated on? And we can miss God focusing on doors that are shut in behind us. It reminds me of the children of Israel when God tells them, I don't know what, I think this is the book of Exodus, but God tells them, go ahead and cross over. And then they see these, they say, matter of fact, they sent a leader from each tribe to go over, spy out the land, come back with a report. Well, everybody but, who was it? Joshua and Caleb. Hey, they were ready for whatever. But all the other men was like, nah, these some big people. They bigger than us. They going to kill us. Children of Israel say, you know what? We ain't going. God tell Moses, okay, tell them not to worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about going. So in that moment, that door got shut. So the children of Israel decide that, oh, no, nah, never mind. We're ready to go now. And God told Moses to tell them they can go, but my presence will not go with them because why? I have closed the door on that opportunity. I have shut the door to that. So my presence will not go with them. A lot of us are expecting God to come back with us into rooms and places and lifestyles and mindsets that he done brought us from. And God said, my presence is not going. So you can go 
And what happened? The children of Israel end up getting defeated and, and overpowered. Why? Because they went into a place that the Lord had closed the door on. They tried to make themselves fit inside of a door that the Lord had shut the door on. And because of that, his presence was no longer there. No longer with them because he wasn't going in that direction no more. And they found themselves getting defeated. But I declare and I speak life into you and I and I speak life into your minds and into your spiritual eye that your eyes is open to the spirit of the Lord. And where the Lord is leading you, that's where you need to go. And that's forward, not backwards. You hear what I'm saying? Let us not die because we want to do what we want to do. God has placed before you open doors and he say, look forward, not behind. May God bless you. May God keep you. I pray that this word was for somebody because I know it was for me. My name is Kamaya. If you are already a part of the fam, y'all already know how we get down. I love y'all. If you ain't a part of the fam, like, subscribe, join the family, and let's connect. May God bless y'all. May God keep y'all. But most of all, I pray that you do not go back to these shut doors. I pray that you begin to turn around in the spirit to open doors and walk into open opportunities that the Lord has set before you. I love y'all and may God bless y'all.